Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I take my braids out. Now, winter, fall, winter, is growing season for me when it comes to my hair. I wear a lot of wigs between the months of September and March. I live in Michigan, so we have a long fall winter period. But I take the opportunity to just put my hair in straight backs and just let it do its thing. Now, I don't know how to braid, unfortunately, but I go to my friend, um, Kintoya Renee. She has been taking care of my hair for, I would say the last, five years it's been a minute maybe even six but she's the only person that I let touch my hair because she has seen me through three big chops because I have a tendency to get um very restless when it comes to my hair and I have fried it dyed it and laid it to the side and she has always been there to help me get my hair health back so right now this is one year from a big chop because I was blonde I think it was last, was it last summer? If you guys follow me on Instagram or follow my channel, you would have seen. But I had a lot of growth and then I went blonde and then I didn't want to be blonde anymore. My hair was destroyed. So Kintoya chopped it all off for me and here I am regrowing it. So this is all virgin hair. Aside from a little bit in the front, it still has some blonde. But aside from that, my hair is um, completely virgin now. And um, so, yeah, I'm taking out my braids. Usually I would leave it for her to do, but it was a little over a month since I had seen her. So I didn't want to um, have my hair get matted because it had been in braids for too long. So as you can see, I'm able to um, undo my braids with my hands up until it gets close to my hairline. That's because Kintoya is a very gentle braider. She never tugs. I never get those blisters from um, tension. Um, as you can see, I have a full head of hair. My hair texture varies. Like in different parts of my hair, it can go from 3C to 4B, depending on where you are in my hair. Um, as I've gotten older, my edges half thinned out. So right now, um, Kintoya and my goal is to regrow my edges. You can definitely see that on the left part of my hairline, particularly where I have thinner edges. So that's what our goal is right now. So after I have taken out my braids, I do try to comb out as much loose hair as possible. And then I jumped in the shower and clarified using the Mazzani Clarifying Shampoo and the Ashley Marie Moisturizing Shampoo. It's not, well, it is hydrating, but it, the official name is the Moisturizing Shampoo. And then after I get out of the shower, I towel dry my hair with a t-shirt. I don't use towels on my hair because um, they're too abrasive. That causes breakage for me. I have a lot of hair, but it's fine, if that makes any sense. Like I have fine hair strands, so I have to be super gentle when um, I'm dealing with it. That's why I'm using a wide tooth comb to um, comb it because usually you don't want to comb your hair when it's wet because that's when it's the most delicate, but I'm using a wide tooth comb just to get out any of the tangles that I wasn't able to get out with my fingers while in the shower. So now I'm using the Melanin Hair Care Plumping Deep Conditioner. I showed you the close up. This is the only deep conditioner that I use after a protective style. I don't know what, I mean, I do know what's in it because it's it says what it is uh, or what's in it on the container, but the ingredients, I, I don't know if anyone else has had this experience, but my hair just soaks it up. Literally, as I was applying it, my hair was soaking up all the goods. Like, it's, it's such a delicious formula. It leaves my hair so soft, and you can leave it on. You don't need heat for it to absorb. So on this day, I didn't have time to sit under my dryer, so I just put uh, two plastic bags over my hair and let it sit in there and use my natural body heat to deep condition my hair for a couple of hours. But um, this stuff is amazing. So my two, like I can stand 10 toes down for two companies. First, of the, first is the Melanin Hair Care. I love everything that they produce. 
I've been with Melanin Hair Care for a while. Like I love their products. And then the second company is the Ashley Marie Collection that falls under the Bold Hold brand. They're more of a recent company. However, I use their curl cream, which I will be showing you later on in the video. And then I also use their moisturizing shampoo to double cleanse my hair. Like those two companies, I highly, highly recommend. And then I'm going in with my Camilla Rose uh, Cocoa Nibs. This is the growth serum. I think I mentioned this already, but I use this and I use um, my stylist's custom made um, growth serum. And I mainly focus that on my edges because like I said, I'm trying to regrow my edges on the left side of my head. I don't know. I, I Maybe it's because I sleep on the left side. I don't know. But um. As you can see, it's a major difference between the thickness on both sides. And here I am covering my hair with plastic bags. If you know, you know. <laughs> and then um, after I uh, let this deep condition for about five hours, I rinsed my hair, came back and started to use the Ashley Marie Collection curl cream which like I said before is 10 toes down you guys 10 toes down and if you are a bold hold lover and you um, need to re-up on some of your products I am a bold hold affiliate and I would love if you use my code down below not only do you get some great products but I get a small commission and why not because we all know if you if you use bold hold any of their products any of the Ashley Marie collection products you know that you're never disappointed. So here I am applying the curl cream and I just use my fingers to do that. This moisturizes your curls, but it also defines them. And that's pretty much it. I just was walking around with damp hair and you see the white cast right now, but it dries clear. And it's like a soft hold, like your curls are still springy, but they remain elongated. Anyway, guys, um, that's it for this video and I hope you liked it. I haven't shown you guys my natural hair in a while and I definitely haven't shown you how I take care of it. But um, let me know if you want to see some more hair content because I definitely have more wigs I need to show you. All right. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any more content from me. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.